guys, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Chandlers. Today we're going to be making one of the best sweet treats out there, chocolate chip cookies. The sort that are a little bit crispy on the outside, but when you crack into them, they're really soft. And if they're served a bit warm, they're a little bit gooey and they're just perfect. They are so easy to do. You don't need any specialist equipment, just a bowl, a spatula, and you're sorted. The ingredients are so simple, you've probably already got them in your kitchen, um, in your kitchen cupboards. So let's go over the ingredients so we can get started. So the ingredients you're going to need is some nice soft butter, some caster sugar, a pinch of salt, trust me add it in, it makes everything taste better. You're going to need one egg, a bar of chocolate that's just roughly chunked up, some self-raising flour and then really good quality vanilla bean paste or vanilla extract. Don't skimp out here. It's one of those ingredients that you have to buy once and last ages and it good quality vanilla bean paste or extract just makes everything taste so much better that you bake with. Really simple, I've just added in the softened butter and sugar and the pinch of salt into a bowl and I'm just gonna cream it together with my spoon. Now the butter and sugar are nicely combined, they're nice and creamy, it's gone a bit lighter in colour because of the air. We're going to add in the egg and then beat again. Adding in about half a teaspoon of this lovely vanilla bean paste, I'm just going to stir that through and get it all off the spoon because it's amazing stuff. Stir that through and it comes to be a really nice consistency like that. Just added in my flour and my chocolate chunks. Some of my chocolate's melted a bit because it's pretty hot here today, but that's fine. I'm just gonna fold these three. Once the flour's incorporated, there's no need to keep going. You don't want these cookies to become tough. But just folding it through to form a nice, yummy cookie dough. So this is what we're left with, gorgeous cookie dough. It's definitely good enough to eat right now, and trust me, I have been, but it's even better baked. So I'm just gonna take a big spoon and grab little dollopfuls and push them onto my lined baking sheet with my little spoon, like so. You don't wanna overcrowd your baking sheet, otherwise they will just become one big mess. So about four of this size on one sheet. These only need about 12 to 14 minutes in a preheated oven at 180 degrees C. Once they're ready, they should be a little bit browned on the outside. Pop them onto a little wire rack to cool for about five minutes and then they should be perfect to tuck in. I've just pulled the cookies out of the oven. They were in there for about 15 minutes. They've come out looking gorgeous. I'm just letting them cool so that they firm up a little bit and they're not gonna scorch my mouth when I eat them. But I'm so excited because they look so pretty. Just look at these. Now, as you can see, I've already tucked into one and a half. Don't, don't blame me. You would too if you could smell these and taste them. They're incredible. But just look at the texture inside of that. It is just so yummy. Now this batch makes about 10 to 12. I've only cooked up, well, was four. Um, because otherwise I would just go to town. They are so Moorish and so yummy. But they're just soft and gooey in the middle and a, there's still a little crunch on the outside. In my opinion, the perfect cooking. Absolutely brilliant to give away to friends, bake them for your house, you, everyone will love you, and plus your house will smell amazing too. Um, you can put pretty much whatever you want in them, I've just gone with plain chocolate, but honestly, play around with it, put what you like in there, put some white chocolate in, put some dark chocolate, orange chocolate, if you've got some Smarties, whatever, anything goes, it's all the same principle really. But definitely give these a go, they are so yummy. Um, yeah, so cool, thanks for spending time with me today, um, hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff, all the links will be below. Like this video if you gave it a go and like the recipe. And subscribe to my channel for some more awesome student food. I'm literally going to go to town on these now. Um, I'm not even, not even sorry. Bye.